Chief, the data transfer is going smoothly. Activating Hilbert effect. Chief! Oh good, she's okay. I was worried there for a minute. You know, because she is the one of the few characters that we've actually gotten any backstory on, and we actually play her when we walk around. Of course, Alan doesn't know this, so... Then again, I don't know, she might die here in a couple episodes. Like I said, I haven't played all the way through, so... But I bet the data's really good. But I bet the data's really good. I saw a little girl. Huh? Was there something else? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Well, now, how did they who are running the simulation day? not see Today's our deadline, the little girl? So I'm sure they'll be asking for it soon. Attention, please. We are scheduled to gate out in approximately three minutes. All hands, please return to your Oh, destiny. good. We get to learn how uh, space travel works. Attention, well, please. sort of. Hey guys, look! We made it to Alderaan! What, too soon? No, seriously, I love the space travel effect in here. It's really cool, especially the... the colors. Because that's one of the things that a lot of space travel lacks, is that they always have one color. Like, uh, Star Trek had blue, to where, you know, all you ever saw were the nacelles, they glow blue and you go whoosh. Quantum Leap only had Quantum Leap had whitish blue light, so I guess that's two colors. If you want to get technical about it. But this is actually pretty cool. And yes, I know there's no sound in space. People really need to get over that. Although I would love to see I did love uh the Mass Effect 2 intro, where you walk out into space and all you hear is your own breathing. That was really cool. By the way, I still, uh, my tooth or lack of a tooth still hurts, so if I sound a little weird, it's because I'm generally only talking out of half of my mouth, because I had my uh, wisdom tooth pulled out, and they, popping and cracking is normal. That's just your tooth uh, cracking apart and your jaw popping oh, as we break it apart to get out. Shifting main engine to stealth mode. Maintaining current speed until... And here's where we are introduced to... Exit from current space at an absolute time, The bridge of the SDF-1. I mean, it really might as well be. Next UMN column in seven hours, 36 minutes. Except I think we actually have guys on this one. will remain offline until then. Now that I think about it, with... In the SDF-1, were there any guys... Other than the... The captain on there? I can't think of any. Because there was the captain who smoked the pipe. They always told him no smoking on the bridge. So there was the chick who was dating... Uh, yes, the awesome pilot. Jump is at the next not Rick Hunter. We're almost there. there was the giggly one. We made it this and then there was the far. girl who actually ended up... Hooking up with Rick. As far as I know. This asteroid field we're in is perfect for hiding the fleet from them. It's perfect for hiding the fleet from them. So Pollyanna thinks those asteroids are going to protect us. I... I'm sorry, sir. A bit testy today, aren't we, Commander? Huh? Is something wrong? No. Nice Pollyanna reference, by the way. Ever since we picked up that object ten days ago, everyone's been a bit jumpy. And we still have a ways to go before we hit comm space. I can empathize with the Commander. Hmm. <laughs> uh, Captain, can you uh, debrief us on the current situation? Our original orders from the Galaxy Federation okay. to investigate First the of all, let me let me clear up the but debriefing thing. A debriefing happens like after things are already over. You don't debrief someone on the situation in the middle of the situation. 
you brief someone. But as I mentioned before, whatever. Apparently, they're after the object too. That's the object. Info, Unofficial info, of what course. What about the rumor regarding the casualties during the retrieval process? Even if it were true, that's none of our business. The research team has their own orders to deal with. The only explicit instructions we've received state that should any salvageable objects exist in the area, their retrieval takes top priority. Salvageable of objects. Oh, Asteroids are salvageable objects. They should pull those into the hole. Over, over our very lives. That guy sounds familiar, and I can't place who it is. Now, now, no need to and of course, I haven't gone to the Wikipedia to look it up either. So, that makes sense, sir. The entire fleet was renovated for this mission. Besides, if there's an emergency, we've got the trump card to fall back on. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, speaking of which, what's the latest on that situation? The trump the card is. Uh, in the A7 reports today. In case you can't figure that out, Cosmos. Only one step away from fully operational. But time, I suppose. Lieutenant, please ask Chief Uzuki to come to the bridge once her data is ready. Ask her to bring all the previous data as well. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, nothing like the captain asking for your data. What trump card? Was he referring to that battle android? That's right. You didn't know. Wow, so it's true. Hey, I heard that project's really behind schedule. You can't blame them. There were casualties during their last boot up test two years ago. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a fun part of the story. Only place I've ever seen them is in old space. Only the old space novels. Ah ha ha ha. Trump card or not, it's still an experiment. They're flying in a spaceship. Like one android is going to make that much of a difference. The whole project's just a chance for those vector guys to show off. Someone's outdated hobby. That's all. I heard that even their commercial models differ greatly between those that have seen action and those that haven't. I don't understand. Okay, so we've got spaceships. We've got uh, alien thingies. We've got jump travel, and they're picking on androids? We've also got giant mech suits. Uh, I don't think we've seen that yet. Spoilers. I don't know. I played this game, and I'm going to try and record uh, the next couple of these closer to when I actually recorded them. Sure. I'll but be there in 30 minutes. I'll be Xion just cracks me up. They certainly didn't waste any She's effectively time. useless as far as I can tell. I'm usually right about these things. Chief Uzuki, here's the data you requested. Will that be all? Thanks. Look guys, it's a disc. This should be good enough. They're gonna Oh, they still wander around with physical media. It's cute. That and how she ended up in charge of anything. Look, 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 look. She leaves stuff behind. She takes chances. She breaks rules. She is not the person you have in charge. She is the person oh. who is the scapegoat Chief? for the person in charge. Do you have a second? Yes. The military is expecting actual field data for Cosmos. Is it right for us to keep giving them simulated data like this? Well, I must admit you got me there. I must admit you got me I'm there. I'm lying to my commanding officers. I keep her here, safe in her dream world forever. But why are you so afraid to put her to real work when you push her so hard in the simulations? I can't wait to see Cosmos up and completely functional. <laughs> yeah. Could you try taking her up to phase three? That should be no problem for her by now. Phase three in a simulated battle config? Yeah, we'll learn more about this later. Not about to wake our little princess for that. Here's a summary Did of Cosmos. He just Major pat him on the butt. The second division. This should help you with the guys upstairs. Thanks. I'm sure it will. Look, more CDs. In little containers. It's awesome. Where are we going now? Oh, I get to walk around. 
think of the MWS and the Encephalon. Encephalon. The MWS. In particular, felt right to me. Yeah, the vaporizer. Turns out that you have a tool, and then you get plugins to install in the tool, and then they do different things. Like the vaporizer plugin, the thing that we we were using to blow up uh, barrels and stuff before. That's some kind of weird plugin. Oh yeah, you can't interact with anything. I can't even pick up the stupid thing that she's gonna leave behind because it's part of the plot. There is no map. We'll find out later. People are useless. Oh, door! Door! Yes! I found my way out. Right, and of course, that means later. another cutscene. Where I didn't okay, actually go out the door. Luck. Bye! I love that they're all just staring at him. Well, back to work. <laughs> I like he starts laughing. It's like ha 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 ha, can't keep it in. All right, so here we are. We're finally on the ship. Good luck. And yes, she runs like that the whole time. Which, as a running animation goes, I guess it's not that bad. Okay, here is the map. Memorize it. And I know, yes, it's a big circle, but it looks weird later on when you're actually walking around. Because just like uh, Metal Gear Solid, the camera angles change. So it'll be like running towards something and then all of a sudden, oh, now you're running sideways and you're like, wait, what? What happened? I, I don't get it. So I think I can take the elevator up to the bridge, I think. So you've got to figure out where you are and where you're going. Okay, so now I think I have a clue of where I'm going. I'm going to try and go there. Which, of course, I will get stopped because I have email. And now, the sweet, sweet porn music. Yeah. It's a press release from Vectorcom. Plugin module? Mmm, I got your plugin module right here. Seriously, though, this is. So I now have a talking rabbit. The Rios. Hmm, the R I O S? Hmm? Predictions or prior art? The world may never know. It's two very important roles traffic and structure via leaps in space. I see. And the other role? So it is the internet and the highway system. Great. Oh god, no! Two things I never want to know. For as long as I have to drive through construction every day for the past two years on the way to work, and they're still not fixed with the stupid roads, no, I don't want those people in charge of, of information at all. You can move to important parts. Important parts of email. Important parts of email. No. No. Not uh, not really thinking of anything. Seriously though, if I could get just the, I just want like a stuffed animal of that rabbit thing. Oh, but it'll get the perfect score! Yay! So we can get a vaporizer plug-in. 
plug it in, plug it in. Oh, man. Now I'm going to have that stuck in my head every time I think of that. Plug in. A simple way to enrich software capabilities. That's all we want to do. We want to enrich software capabilities. Yeah, and then there's a bunch of fluff. During battle, focus on attacking a single enemy. Pay attention to decreasing hit points. If you don't understand this, why are you playing this game? I don't know what I'm looking at there. I really don't. And I can't figure out where I'm going. Oh, and the doors don't open, so there's not like Star Trek, where you just walk up to the door and it goes, psh, psh, you know, no. You actually have to walk up it and push some imaginary button that's not really there. She's really got you trained, hasn't she, sir? What? Trained? What is up with this music? What hey, what are you Did we just enter the love boat? Back to work. I'm on it. See how he always changes the subject? What was that, Togashi? Nothing at all, sir. You're just hearing things. I swear. You're just hearing things. What's up? Still not convinced? Oh, no. It's not that. It's just... I know how you feel. But you saw what happened just now. Even the chief is cautious sometimes. Even the chief is cautious. Sometimes. Occasionally, she uses protection. Just transferred in a month ago, right? I guess you couldn't have known. You couldn't have known what? Oh, you mean the accident from two years ago? Yeah, we'll learn more about that. Okay. Wait. She left her little rabbit thing there. Perfect. How is she answering the phone? Why don't you ask her out while you're at it? We can handle the rest by ourselves. This is your big chance. I told you guys it's not like that. It's not like that. I don't want to date her. I just want to give me some sweet, sweet love. Anyway, I better get this to her. Good luck. Just Okay. If you ever feel like you need to be weirded out. Try walking with your hand on your hip. Jeez. They just don't know when to quit. Just just try it. Just give it give it a minute or two. Okay, just put your hand you? like on your hip and try walking and it feels really weird. Now if you're a girl listening to this, girls, girls get away with it all the time. My wife can do it. She can walk with a hand on her hip. It looks kinda well, we won't get into that, but guys, hands on the hip. Mm, not good. And another cutscene. Oh, but we get to see the obelisk thing again. You're off. And then we'll watch some monkeys hit each other with uh, bones. You. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this guy's just weird. You lazy bums are the cause of that accident. Well, one, he's got a giant purple X on his face. So. Why not? Because I'm not giving it to you. You got time to be sorry. Why does he have a purple X on his face? Have you got time to think? Don't even think. Don't even start thinking you've got what? Boy, I guess not every department's run like ours. <laughs> that guy doesn't make any sense. Yeah, some departments are run like bedtime stories. Ah, uh, it's raining, it's late, and she's all alone. 
Oh, but who's this tall stranger? We're still here, huh? Killing yourself over work won't get you very far. Oh. How are you? I had to get this data done before morning, so I... Yeah. The backstory on this is just kind of so weird. Oh, it's Kevin. On a first name basis with your boss, you are you? We've got an early morning ahead. Here, this is for you. Uh -huh. Oh, thank you. That's what I bring all my women late at night. Coffee. Like we should get some sleep. Yeah, right. Here, drink this. You'll need your energy. I don't know what I'm talking about today. To tell you the truth, I haven't been able to sleep lately. It's been kind of weird. Been on my mind. On your mind? I don't know. I think a lot of it's getting that arcade game. Just because I can't help but like think like, oh, if I just get two more parts, I can make it better. Because I'm I'm starting to notice that having an arcade game is not like, ah, oh, I have an arcade game, done. I'm looking forward to seeing. It's like, oh, I have an arcade game. Oh, but if I get no that one piece because they're missing the, I mean m the one I got is missing parts like nothing it's not missing functional parts well except for the the power supply that gave out but like all the joysticks are there and everything like that what but there are say? like little morning, cover plates good, good morning good morning cosmos well that's what you say to someone when they wake up right Oh, you go for it, Xion. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. All right, Kevin. I think I can finally get some sleep now. No, Kevin. No. Glad to help, sir. No, Kevin. Rest too. There you go. All right. Well, good night. No, no, Kevin. Kevin, what are you? No! Ah! Moron! When a woman says, well, isn't that what you say when you see someone in the morning? No, no, no. So That's... Ah! Ah! There's so many undertones in these games. And I'm really starting to love it because the people who have a clue of what's going on relationship-wise are pretty much second nature. Wait, what happened? Oh yeah, I don't know. Hey, there's the little ghost girl from Inside Cosmos's Dream. Because that's not creepy. Mountains. Okay. I can't understand you. This is before talking movies were invented. It reminds me of, uh, Silent Hill? I think? Yeah, Silent Hill, where you're always following the little girl, or looking for the little girl. Yeah, and if we remember what happened before, this could go really bad. And it's just a cool effect. I would love to play a black and white 3D game. Does anybody know of any of those? Like not, and not like 3D for, or not black and white just for black and white sake like the saboteur. Like I mean like. I love that he thinks she's a bimbo. What the 
That guy really needs to find an airlock. It's my hand. You know, wrists are hard to do. I've done some, some amateur drawing. And, like, the elbows are easy. Shoulders are kind of easy. Necks are a little bit weird for me, but, like, the wrist... It doesn't make a damn bit of sense how that thing works. I mean, I know that if you were to take the skin off and actually watch the muscles move, it makes a lot of sense. But as far as, like, drawing it, because sometimes there's, like, the lines line up weird. Hmm. A yellow mechanical thing that is used to lift heavy things Alice? don't act so surprised didn't you forget something important you know it's dangerous wandering around in a daze like that yeah sorry i was just thinking about something get away from her you are you all right huh yeah uh, I'm just not myself today. Yeah, if this isn't her being herself, that's just... Ah. Oh, look, there's a little girl again. Explain it to me. I don't get it. Oh, look. Alan, More of the robot. Thanks for stepping in back there. Uh, I should have spoken to the new guy earlier, so you don't need to thank me. You just need to but it would thank really help me. If you would try to understand their feelings more. I, I know everyone's still a little uneasy about Cosmos, but they've been pouring their hearts and souls into this project. They all want to see with their own eyes the end results of what they've been working so hard to complete. I feel the same way myself, you know? I know that. It's just that I... Chief. The incident, right? Huh? The incident. Oh. <laughs> I see. You're... Hmm? Sorry. That's not quite it. Forget about it. It's nothing. That's not Let's quite it. Let's just hurry up and get Cosmos completed, okay? Oh. Let's get Cosmos completed. Who could that be? More Realian maintenance? They really should stop calling you all the time. Technically, it's a violation of regulations for you to deal with other divisions. Besides, aren't they expecting you on the bridge? Oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, the Reallian thing all. gets Besides, weird. It's on the way, and I've got some time. Got some See time. Ya. I don't think we're gonna make it there, though. Oh. I forgot to ask her out after work. Ah, oh, foiled again, Alan. Alan's not good at the whole dating thing. I can relate. Although I had the other, I had the problem that Shion had is that I was just oblivious. Uh, I should bring the Realian. I should bring the Realian service data with me. Bom, bom, bom. I think I left it in my room. I better go get it. Now let's see if I remember correctly. My room is straight ahead. Okay. Chick doesn't know where she sleeps. That's a problem. Thankfully, I found it. Okay, so this is her room, which is very boring. And oh my god, a save point! And with that, we see our second save point of the game. And with that, we're going to end uh, episode three. So as I uh, go in here and save. We're going to stop here. Yeah, we're going to stop here. Uh, we will pick up and continue on with the Realians next time. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week for part four.